using the Jeffree Star and Morphe palette for this video. And on one side of my eye, I'm gonna use a paint pot. The other side, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. hoodie eye primer. Okay, so on the packaging, it says that a primer that amps up your eyeshadow looks with color intensity and that this eye putty primer locks your eyeshadow for 12 hours, crease proof wear, it is infused with vegan squalene known to moisturize throughout the whole day. It says apply to your eyelids with an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush or with fingertips. Wear alone for a tint of color or apply eyeshadow on top for a vibrant long wearing look. So like I said, on one side I'm going to be using the matte uh, soft ochre paint pot. And this is what they look side by side, which is pretty similar. The e.l.f. one has... 0.19 ounces and the max that the mac has 0.17 so this one has 0.2 ounces a little bit more than the mac soft ochre paint pot now the price difference is going to be on the screen so that you guys can see the price difference but let's get started with this makeup look so i'm just going to get my mirror because obviously you guys know that i can't see i'm going to get a little close excuse my face because my face right now is it's going through a lot. It's going through a lot. Let's just put it that way. But I'm going to go ahead and use my fingers just so I can see how they perform. Like I said, remember on one side, I'm going to be using Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot, which I am pretty familiar with the way it works. You guys know that this is one of my favorite primers for eyeshadows. And on the other side, obviously, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Putty Primer. Okay, so I don't know what happened to mine, but it's literally dry. Like, it's literally dry. Thankfully, I have the Inglot drops. I'm gonna apply a drop, but it's a little disappointing that it's already dried out because I haven't used this product at all for it to be dried out. Okay, so as I'm applying the Duraline drops, it's a little coming off a little bit oily. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit to see if it does anything to the formula because it is like rock hard. If you guys have tried this primer, also let me know down below just, you know, so I know what is going on literally freaking out a little bit i don't know if that's the consistency that it's supposed to have but if it is i could definitely see a lot more payoff from the mac one i'm gonna go back in hopefully the product already settled in so it's giving me a little bit but it's hard to tell if that's the consistency because when i opened my product it was really just dried out okay so it seems to be a little bit of a base right there i'm gonna go ahead and go in with the morphe and jeffree star palette and i really don't know what to do i think i'm gonna do like a violet kind of like a cranberry look so i'm gonna go in first with honest truth which is this one right here Let's see how this applies. And I'm using a Sonia Keshuk brush. So I'm just gonna push this on the crease. Okay, so the colors are grabbing nicely. Okay, so that's the way it looks on my eye. Now I'm going to go on the other side with another brush, obviously. But this side has the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Okay, so both sides are looking pretty similar from what I can tell. Um, let's move on to see how other shades and textures just glide onto the eyes. 
For the next shade I'm gonna be using, it's going to be um, this one right here called Mogo. Right here, it's kind of like a plum shade. You know what, no, I'm gonna go in with Calabasas, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna apply that a little bit lower than my crease, but not on my eye. So that's the way the shades look so far. I'm gonna blend it out again with um, Honest Truth. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but right here it's a little bit patchy. I don't know really what happened because I haven't really moved anything other than apply a new shade. Let me go in with Calabasas on the other eye and let's see what happens. Go back in with that brush that I applied Honest Truth with to just blend this out in the outer V. I feel like they both look the same. This one didn't get patchy in the end. I don't know if you guys can see, but on this side, it is a very different, the patchiness it gave me. I don't know why, but let's move on. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Don't Know Her, which is this one right here. It is like a plum kind of metallic shade and I'm not going to apply a spray on it just because I want to see how well the metallics just grab onto these primers. Okay, so so far on this eye, I like what I'm seeing. I'm going to go back in to darken the outer corner with Mogul, which is this purpley shade right here. I'm gonna reapply Calabasas. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye and I hope you guys can just watch how the shades go on the eye. So this is the way the eyes came out. I'm just gonna clean a little bit of the fallout because these shadows have a lot of fallout. And mind you guys, this is not a Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette. This is a Morphe palette. So the, the ingredients and the products, you know, are gonna be slightly different. So let me just clean up. So let me go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back with my opinions on the elf putty primer and the mac soft ochre paint pot okay so i'm obviously done with my makeup i'm gonna get a little close so you guys can see a close-up of how the eyeshadows performed on each eye on a serious note i kind of feel like even though i struggled a little bit with the elf putty primer i kind of feel like the shadows were more intense on that side as i feel that the mac soft ochre paint pot is a little dry and when it comes to mattes and stuff like that, it doesn't really stick a lot. You, like when there's shadows that they need help, the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot will let you know ASAP. And I felt it was like that with the metallic shade. I felt like I needed to apply something to help it out to kind of give it the intensity that the other side of the eye gave it. And for a fraction of the cost that the e.l.f. putty primer costs, I feel like it's worth it because it does give you a lot of intensity. Um, I don't know if it was just mine that was dry. Uh, I'm definitely going to try purchasing another one just to kind of see how the formula really is. And mind you guys, mine did get a little bit of help from the Inglot Duraline Drops. Thankfully, I had that to be able to save the video because it would have been so sad if I couldn't have tested these two products. Overall, this product showdown will go to e.l.f. Putty Primer. I also used today their e.l.f. Um, hydrating foundation with the e.l.f. 
face putty primer and let me tell you guys i've been loving that primer so i was very intrigued to try their eye putty primer and for today i think it is a yes um for the uh morphe and jeffree star palette I'm gonna say it's a must as well, even though it's already discontinued, but if you were able to grab it, now I know what all the hype was about. I did like the way the shadows performed and they did surprise me. So I'm very pleased that I got this. Not too long ago, I got it on sale at the Ulta website. So definitely always be checking for sales like that because I got it for like $15. So um, I definitely suggest that you try it if you have not. And if you had, your hands on it and you haven't yet tried it try it you guys are gonna love it so that is everything for today's video i hope you guys really liked today's little concept let me know down below what do you guys want to see next let me know what you guys are thinking of the new content and until next time i will see you guys in my next video bye guys